Good afternoon. The big A behind me stands for advancement, right? We all know that. The act or instance of moving forward is what the dictionary says. In order to measure it, we must know a starting point. At a young age, I always looked forward well, to going to school. I loved learning. My parents uh, raised us in Mexico where they both had their jobs and worked very hard for my brother and I to have a private education. Growing up, I realized that not everybody was that lucky. So I worked really, really hard and tried to excel at everything I could. I remember doing great in all of my subjects. I remember loving my teachers. And I remember dreaming of one day becoming an engineer. But that was not my starting point. My starting point was when my mom retired and my family decided to move back to what they called home. My starting point was the first day of my eighth grade year. It was sitting in a classroom in Texas, listening to other girls make fun of the new girl, make fun of me. My starting point was pretending like I could not understand English, like I did not know what they would say about me. My starting point was pretending like I was not able to succeed. When I was 13 years old, I was told I was just another statistic that proved that people that looked and talked like me would never achieve anything in life. For two years, my parents reminded us that we moved back to the US for my brother and I to have greater opportunities. But I never really understood that because deep inside, I hated school. At 15, the rumors were that if you made it to Odessa High School, the chances of dropping out pregnant were far greater than the chances of ever graduating. I found myself thinking of this during my first day of high school, first period, avid. Mrs. Woodall's class, a woman who believes that education is for everyone, but success is for those who are willing to advance. Now I know I can stand in front of the whole world, and I have in, some of, in front of some smaller audiences, and talk about binders, Carnell notes, wicker, and the importance of effective tutoring. I can tell you everything I did in AVID my sophomore, junior, and senior year of high school. I can tell you what I learned as an AVID tutor. To be honest, I can talk about AVID for a whole day and still keep all of you here entertained. <laughs> but I don't want to do that. <laughs> because as a human who loves mathematics, what I've learned the most is that most people rather have me tell them the solution that explain the equation. <laughs> that being said, in June 2nd, 2012, I stood up seven times during my high school graduation. Homecoming court, students in philanthropy, senior board officer, student council, National Honor Society, Miss OHS. Yet the only time I shed a tear happened when they asked for the seniors to stand up who were in AVID. I owe so much to this program. I would never have the awards or the scholarships or the guts to walk up to Texas Tech University like it's my house without the educators, not the teachers, the educators who saw the individual determination in me. Signing up for college classes, I somehow end up finding this AVID course. Brand new to Texas Tech, the course is designed around material on how to survive college for incoming freshmen and transfer students, and it uses the AVID strategies. I have never thanked God for a class so much in my life. <laughs> Even though it was only one semester, the course truly taught me how to survive in higher ed. AVID helped me get to college, and it is still carrying me to this day. It gave me an amazing job as a tutor. It helped me when I messed up my GPA, thanks to taking Calculus two at 8 a.m., three days a week. <laughs> it continued to give me opportunities to share why it is the best college readiness system out there. And this past December, AVID alone opened the doors for me to follow my dreams and enter the School of Engineering at Texas Tech. Thanks. 
Now, Robin Roberts once said that it is not so much what we accomplish at the end of the day, it is what we have overcome, what you remember the most. She's one of the women I look up to the most. But when it comes to Avid, I actually disagree with this quote. As an action, when one advances via individual determination, one accomplishes so much more than the dream itself that I continue to accomplish so much more through Avid that sometimes I forget what I have overcome. Now, I'll never forget where I come from, don't get me wrong, but Avid has never taught me to look back and suddenly feel strong. Avid teaches me to this very day to always look forward and know that I am and have always been this strong. Mrs. Thank you. Mrs. Woodall just had to remind me that many, many, many times in high school. And now I remind my students at Monterey High the same. And that is true advancement. Thank you.